Our first guest tonight is one of the funniest people around. You can see her live at Davies Hall in San Francisco this Saturday and Sunday night and at the Pechanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, September 25th. Her New York Times bestseller, Official Book Club Selection, is available now in paperback. Please say hello to Kathy Griffin. <laughs> beautiful ensemble you have here. You look very regal. Say my name tonight. Say it. My real name. Your real name? Mm-hmm. I'm wearing the outfit. You all saw the show yesterday when she took the audience to Australia! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you are wearing the outfit. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wish I had my captain. I would have worn a, a pilot's uniform had I known. All right, so I have a little <laughs> surprise for your audience, Jenica! Oh, really? I can't wait to hear it. What, what it? you don't know is that this man has gotten a bus and we are going to West Covina! Exciting. <laughs> All right. I wonder if anyone would actually go with us if we took a bus to West Covina. Mm -hmm. I'm flattered, but that doesn't say great things about you. How are you? You look I am lovely. here. Look, this is this is just basically a Hollywood emergency. The it fact was. that I'm here, I'm here to get us through the emotional journey that has just been the last week. We've got Snooki's court appearance. Uh -huh. We've got <laughs> Oprah's. And Jimmy called me last night crying because he watches the rerun of Oprah at 105. I got a little emotional. Well, when I picked up the phone and I just heard like the, I said, Jimmy. <laughs> and then there was like five minutes of just crying and we got each other through it. And You got me through it really though, you got I'd me say more. We got I each other. I love you, Jimmy. Right. <laughs> I mean, we've got so oh, yeah. much. So first of all, let's just talk about how are you feeling about Oprah's last Wor season? I'm feeling worried. I'm feeling okay, scared. Me too. Right, alone. I'm feeling um, <laughs> anger, uh, yeah, abandoned. I, no, that's human to feel <laughs> angry that Oprah's abandoning the two of us. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't even know if I trust John Travolta anymore. I really don't. <laughs> really. I'm, I'm questioning that. <laughs> all right. So. I'm going to try to not have the fake eyelashes be falling out from the tears. Uh -huh. And let's move on to the Video Music Awards. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Let's now, get to a happier we have topic. A lot, we have a lot to get to. Did okay. you enjoy the Video Music of Awards? Of course. Okay. Now, I didn't technically um, attend, but I did. Um, I was on the road because I'm on the road all the time. Right. And I was doing a double in Elizabeth, Indiana at the Horseshoe Casino. Rock on. And <laughs> I wish I was kidding. I'm not. And I actually took a picture of myself watching watching it and I think you have the photo because I'm watching a moment. Oh yeah, there it is. So I'm sort of presenting. Uh -huh. I'm basically presenting with Cher and Lady Gaga. Oh wow, that's a big, that's like, that's gay like heaven. all it's the gay, gay icons together to, at once. I th we, the three of us girls had a great time that you night. You did, huh? Yeah, although I will tell you I'm a little confused by the Taylor Swift um, song and now you have to be careful because on Twitter, I'm afraid that the Taylor Swift army will turn on me for even making a slight joke. But I will okay. tell you, I thought it was slightly amusing that Taylor Swift song, sang a song about Kanye West's um, innocence while she was barefoot. Um, <laughs> and what I put on my Twitter as a joke was, uh -huh. give Kanye a break, it's not like he raped her. Uh -huh. but I mean, right. I just felt like... <laughs> 
a woman, but as a comedian, it was sort of amusing to see her singing barefoot as if she was afraid even of shoes. Um, and saying that Kanye, I don't know if innocence is the word I would choose when thinking about Kanye. So I went to his Twitter. Uh huh, right. He's and got I know his, you oh, sometimes he, follow Kanye. I do follow him, yeah. And sometimes um, you follow 50 Cent? I, yes, I'm astonished by 50 Cent's tweets. And Okay, now you know I don't call them tweets. What do you call them? Oh, I know what you call okay. them. Yeah, right, right. Imagine what's under this pretty, pretty orange overskirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I call it. And by the way, um, <laughs> let's go to West Coast. Actually brought with me in my brazier a 50 cent actual tweet. Oh, that's and where you keep them? That's where I keep my tweets. Okay. In my bra. You can follow me at, at Kathy Griffin, and we're gonna get you a lot more followers tonight at, at Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, thank you. And okay. I'll tell you why in a second. I have a scheme. Oh, you do? I have a scheme for us. Okay, oh, so this is um, something that I retweeted from 50 Cent. Um, Soldier and Fab kicked it. They cool now, ain't no more beef. Yo, <laughs> have a nice day. So there's okay. Oh, you forgot the LOL at the end. Oh, he loves a good laugh. 50 Cent loves LOL. a good laugh. <laughs> OMG, OMG. Um, so, so what I did today uh -huh. was on my Twitter account, I reached out to the followers that I have and asked them to name themselves. Like Lady Gaga's fans are called little monsters, or she called them monsters. So I was I suggesting that tonight that. that after the show, you should go on at Jimmy Kimmel and reach out to your followers and ask them what they want to be called, like Kimmelites or Kimmeltons or Kimmeltons. Oh, mine, or are, mine are called Americans. <laughs> for suggesting <laughs> otherwise. So can I tell you the top three front runners? Yeah, so people at, at suggested Griffin, yes, this Yes, they, um, they like to be called either um, uh, grifters, like I'm on the grift, it's sort of cute. Yeah. Um, I really like catheters. Um, Ooh, I like that. Someone said I make you laugh till you pee. I, I like thought that. that was sort of edgy. And the one that's the front runner, but keep in mind this is something I want to put on t-shirts and stuff in my live shows. A lot of people just want to be called <laughs> <laughs> No. And I, I don't, I mean, I get it. I think it's cute yeah. and it's endearing, but I don't see it on like a t-shirt or is the front an eco runner? bag. It's the front runner. Yeah. How will you decide what is, except what you're going to do? Well, I probably won't be able to choose that because. Yeah, because nobody. I can't will, yeah, right. say it. You probably can. It's your show. Yeah, well, I could, but it'd be bleeped out, so there's no point to it. But that's right. But I catheters, like, catheters are safe is, if they're clean. Catheters is fun. very good. This would be catheter with a K though, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So there won't be an infringement, any licensing That's the issues. one to go okay. with. Okay. Now, yeah. can we... All right. Yeah, hold, I'm yeah. sorry. There's so much breaking news. I feel like Nancy Grace. <laughs> what else is broken? Well, we... I'll tell you what's broken, Snooki. Now, oh, yeah. um... Snooki's court appearance was must-see television. You like that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I stand behind... I, I feel that it was a miscarriage of justice. Oh, you do? For her to even have to go... I would have been, liked to be there, like, in the jury with the dynasty hat and the veil, um, <laughs> sobbing softly. And um, I did enjoy the judge when he said that she seemed like a wannabe Lindsay Lohan, as if that's a bad thing. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> awesome. Good for her. And I liked her court um, attire, uh -huh. which was kind of that same leopard dress, but in a gray and nice. only three layers of fake lashes <laughs> and a little bit less of a bump it I thought she did like a 50% bump it out of respect for the court right for the American legal system which sure. is what you have to do when you face plant in the sand in Miami <laughs> yeah, right. and you just bang the situation again <laughs> did you see what she got charged with she got charged with something ridiculous Drunken, disorderly or not even that it's like wannabe disturbing the like pleasantness at the beach or some silly charge she got. I concur I'm going to tweet about it. <laughs> you are? Oh, yeah. You bet I am. So you were on Snooki's side or you're not on Snooki's side? I'm pro Snooki. What do you think? Of course I am. I'm you all love Snooki. I'm Snooki in power. Yeah. What about... What because about... I don't want her to go away. Unlike you, I don't want these people to go away. I, I don't want them to I go away either. I don't want the either. housewives to go away. Uh -huh. I don't want... Um, I don't know if you saw the New Jersey reunion. I did. I missed my that. my favorite cross-eyed Andy Cohen, which is <laughs> always hysterical because those women don't know who he's talking to. Um, <laughs> There's just a lot going on. You, I know, are starting your own uh, campaign for the for to get a Grammy. I want to be nominated for a Grammy again. Yeah. So please buy my CD electronically. Okay. Yeah, please buy it. It's called um, it's called Kathy Griffin does the Bible Belt, 
And you should buy it just because I went and did a show in Knoxville, Tennessee, and lived to tell about it. Um, <laughs> and I want to be nominated for a Grammy because I'm an artist and because I feel at one with the musical community and because I want to go to the Grammys. Will you wear a dress made of meat yes, at the Grammys? I will, absolutely. Wow, that is that I mean, would be fact, something. You can name the meat. Really? I will let, if I get nominated for a Grammy, I will allow Jimmy Kimmel to add Jimmy rights? Kimmel to name the meat. Wow. And I, will wear I would whatever love meat to name the meat. To. Ooh, I'm thinking maybe. How about that, voters? <laughs> <laughs> Are you naming meats in your head? I'm thinking maybe a, a jerky would be nice. Don't spoil the surprise. Oh, uh, I won't I'll spoil put the on surprise. A jerky for you, in and you got a show uh, in Las Vegas coming yes, up. Yes, well. I'm actually playing at the Coliseum on Thanksgiving nice. Saturday. Wow. So I'll be in sort of the house of Cher. So it's almost like I'm Oprah and Cher in my mind. Will Cher be there at the show with you? <laughs> if Cher's there, maybe she'll be in a Kathy Griffin wig. I don't know. But she's very incognito. She could be there. You I don't. Know. I would not blame her for attending. Should I tweet that Cher might be there? Tweet that Cher will be there. What are they going to do? I'll put on a meat. Um, I'll put on my meat pajamas and tweet it tonight. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> well, you know what? If you like to read Kathy's thoughts, they're all contained in this book um, completely. It's called A New York Times Bestseller. She enraged Oprah with this book. It's sold out, so you can't go to that. Oh, and at the photographer. We'll be right back. Kathy Griffin, everybody.